Hey guys, welcome back to Turntable Guy. <clears throat> I was not going to film this, but uh, this piece of equipment has caused me so much grief, I would say in the past uh, few weeks, that uh, I really thought I should. And uh, the reason I'm filming it is because um, there's almost zero information on this unit anywhere uh, on the internet. There is a service manual, which is semi-helpful because it's uh, translated Japanese and uh, the wording is a little bit difficult to understand. And uh, here's the problem I got into this. I found it at a thrift store for 10 bucks. Uh, it was sitting on the shelf, uh, tested it, seemed to be working. Uh, it's got a three disc CD changer mechanism here that is beyond complicated. I think the plans uh, for a nuclear warhead are probably a little bit less complicated than this CD changer mechanism. And from what I understand, um, although the unit is a Denon, uh, the model is, this is the lovely aluminum faceplate, it's a Denon CD auto changer receiver, UDM, as in Mary, 50. Um, I cleaned it up once I brought it home, and it, it really is a lovely unit. It's uh, 30 watts per channel, but it's 30 real watts per channel. And I've got it hooked up to a pair of Koss uh, Dynamite M65 speakers. And it sounds sounds great. I mean, it really does. I use it uh, in my uh, work desk uh, for powering the speakers for computer audio. I really didn't care about the CD changer mechanism at all. It's got a, a tuner in it, AM, FM, um, a really great amplifier, and a really nice digital uh, faceplate, uh, like digital controls here. Uh, really nicely put together. You know, you expect uh, Denon to put out a quality unit. Um, and this is this is definitely one of them. It's a, it's a nice little mini system. Um, so um, when I brought it home, I usually do some maintenance on anything I bring home from the thrift store, and uh, that's when I got into a little trouble. Uh, I wanted to lubricate the rails on the main CD mechanism, uh, and uh, you know just give the rails a cleaning and make sure the laser was clean, all that kind of good stuff. I knew that I had to be careful because of this ridiculously complicated mechanism, which I'm going to show you in action. And um, one of the craziest things happened. I was removing one of the chassis screws for the CD mechanism. This comes out of this unit. And uh, one of the screws fell into the uh, main board. So that's always uh, not a good thing. You don't want a, screw, a loose screw hanging around. It could short something out. So. I did what everybody else does. I picked it up and I shook it and no screw. I did hear it originally because it was, you could hear it clinking and clanking and all of a sudden it stopped. So I'm thinking, oh, I must have shot out somewhere. Looked everywhere for the screw, nothing. I'm like, oh, well, it probably fell out on the floor somewhere. It's gone. But uh, no, um, next time I turned on the player, the door would not come out. And yes, I started to disassemble the mechanism. And at this point, I didn't even think it was the screw. I thought, oh, maybe this thing's failed, or it was, maybe it was faulty, and it just kind of worked when I brought it home. And uh, lo and behold, as I was disassembling this thing, there was a screw. It was jammed right uh, on top of a gear, preventing the whole mechanism from moving. So once I disassembled this thing, putting it back together was a nightmare. It was such a nightmare that I completely uh, gave up. Um, I took out uh, all the power wires and all the cables uh, to the mechanism. And I just I put it back in the machine, buttoned it up, but uh, it, I basically disconnected it from the rest of the unit. So I could just use it as an amplifier. Well, I'm off today and I thought, what the hell, I'm gonna give this thing another go. Um, I'm also having a little issue with the uh, speaker relay. So when you turn on the unit, the right channel is usually a little bit louder until you crank the volume. And that's, that's a sign that the relay is starting to go, but it's a sealed relay, so I can't do anything about that. So I'm gonna live with that for now. If I have to replace the relay altogether, I'll do that. But yeah, like I said, it's just a computer audio system. It's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, so I started working on this mechanism today again. And uh, I have to tell you, I, I'm not taking it apart. I'm not going to show people how to do this. But you need to follow the instructions in the service manual 100%. And they are difficult to follow. Um, the big thing about it is that uh, uh, the tray number three here, um, was I removed it and that should never come out because in the instructions they only talk about reinserting tray number one and tray number two 
but no mention at all about tray number three. And that's because tray number three stays underneath the CD clamping mechanism here. So if you've taken out CD uh, tray number three, you've got a problem. You need to put that back where it belongs. And then uh, basically you need to remove the top half of the uh, mechanism here and you lift it up from left to right. And then there's a whole bunch of instructions on turning bevel gears, how many times they need to turn in order to engage the proper locking mechanisms. It's absolutely crazy. The fact that I actually got it back together is a miracle in itself. And it took me four tries to get it back together to the point where it started working again because it was just getting jammed and stuck because I didn't have tray three in. I just kind of laid it in on top here. And uh, that was the big mistake, right? So anyway. Um, I got the face plate off right now, but I'm just going to turn it on. And what's going to happen is you're going to see what this thing does just when you turn it on. So let's let's press power and watch this. Now that's what it does every time you press power, right? So if you want to load a disc. There's uh, three buttons on the front that say disc one, disc two, disc three. So let's, uh, disc one's here now. So let's push disc one. All right, so that should be out of the system. So if we put in a disc here now, and we push that back in, it's going to load that. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And I haven't even pressed play yet. I don't even know where play is. Uh, where's play? This is play. Does it play? Hmm. Oh, it's on pause. I'm sorry. This may not be repaired yet. It's showing disc one, no track. Timer's moving, but uh, I'm not getting any CD spinning yet. I'm wondering if it needs to be reset or something. I, I this is the point I'm at. I just I just wanted to show you guys this. Like that, I just finished putting back together. I'm like I have to tape this. I have to tape it before I put a CD in just to see what happens. All right, like this is absolutely incredible. And watch when you eject it here. So you do that, then the door will open. But uh, yeah, the. Uh, CD player is not spinning up. I don't even know if the laser is on. I don't see anything. Let's just close it. Unless, now there is a piece that I don't have in here. Now this is a cover and I'm not sure. There's two grounding pins here. I'm not sure if they have something to do with it. If, uh, if I touch those two grounds together here, I, I don't know. I mean, it should, it should spin once it's loaded, I'm thinking. And it's not spinning. That should, that should be playing. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I just, I just wanted to show you this. If I do happen to fix it, if I do get the CD player spinning again, I will definitely, uh, is it going? No, I just... Sounds like it wants to spin, but I can hear the mechanism making noise, but oh. Come on. Spin up. Can't get my fingers on the disc or I can give it a good Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I just thought you might want to see that. Uh, what a crazy, crazy thing this is. Um, like I said, it's a great little amplifier. I'm really enjoying the sound quality of it. But uh, yeah, if I get it fixed, I'll, uh, I'll shoot up in a video and uh, you can see it working. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a great one. Take care.